Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we are creating some crystal earplugs. These are 30 mm titanium earplugs. I have chosen titanium earplugs because they are able to withstand the hot temperatures of the oven. They also are the ones that you can screw in place, so it's more easy to put them on your ears. First I will start by choosing some crystals that I think will be very good for this composition. It will be a mix between clear quartz and some amethysts. Some of the points are broken, so I want to make sure to choose the perfect ones. I will also want to choose some different sizes. I have also my assistant here helping me. This is the placement that I came up with. I will use some green and brown polymer clay. We always start by working our polymer clay so it becomes more soft. I will divide two masses for both of my earrings. This will help us to create a foundation so we can put all our crystals inside these earplugs. It doesn't have to be perfect. It needs to serve its purpose. We want to give a natural look and nature is not perfect. By choosing different crystal sizes we give more interest in our composition. In this case we are creating two layers of depth. This is a bit of a tricky part because you always need to make sure that the polymer clay stays in place while also putting the crystals in a secure position. I am adding a bit of texture so it looks like the crystals are coming out of the dirt. Mm -hmm. 
You can add or remove crystals until you feel your composition is looking good. Do the same thing for the other one. Now it's time for our first bake. I bake this once for 20 minutes in 150 degrees. The amount of time you bake your creations depends on the amount of polymer clay that you use. The more polymer clay, the longer the time. Here comes the most important part. We need to secure the crystals and our polymer clay mass by gluing it in place. First we start by removing everything. We need to be very sure that our glue doesn't transfer into the screw part. This is very important because the earrings then are going to be destroyed. First you just need a couple of glue drops to secure the base. This one comes with a spray so it can dry faster. Then with a crafting knife we need to trim the back so that the screw goes in without efforts. We need to clean it very well so no debris is left behind. And voila, everything is working perfectly. Now we need to glue each individual crystals back in its position.
now comes my favorite part, the painting. This is going to give a totally different look to our earrings. First I want to create some depth with black paint. I'm going to dilute it very well with water so it goes inside every crevices. With some paper towels, I remove the excess paint. As for some highlights, I'm going to use some gold paint. Let's start by working for the fern leaves. Again, take some green polymer clay and work it so it becomes softer. I'm going to use also liquid clay for this part. This one is going to serve like a glue for the polymer clay. I'm going to bake again for 10 minutes. I would like for the leaves to pop out a little bit more, so I'm going to add some highlight.
Now I'm going to secure everything with a top coat. Everything is ready for our final bake. The crystal ear plugs are ready. I really like how they came out and I really enjoyed making them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon.